Hello world, welcome back to another Pico Gym workout exercise video. In this video, we'll be walking through the web exploitation challenge intro to burp. Let's get into it. Try here to find the flag. All right, so let's open up the link they gave us. And as the challenge suggests, we should be doing this in burp. So let's go ahead and get that cranked up. We're gonna copy this address right here and we're gonna go to burp. Click next, start burp. And then we're gonna click the proxy here and we're gonna open browser. All right, now let's bring this over here and this over here. So now we're gonna paste in that URL that we copied before into the proxy and we're gonna turn the interceptor on. And then one thing we want to add to here is for it to intercept responses because that's gonna bring not only the requests back but also the responses from the HTTP request that we send out. With that out of the way, we'll close that and then we will go ahead and just type in some random information here and we'll just use admin for all the blanks to make it simple because this part doesn't really matter. Let's click register and as you can see it generates us a CSRF token and it has a session ID as well. We're going to go ahead and forward that and then here's a 302. You don't need to do anything with this, just keep forwarding it. And then we get to this dashboard link, go ahead and forward that as well. And then it talks about two-factor authentication on the dashboard, go ahead and forward that again. And as you can see here, it's asking us for a one-time password. Well, we don't know what that is. So we're gonna go ahead and just type in some kind of dummy password here. Click submit on that, make sure you forward. And then you can see our one-time pass here. And if we keep going, it's gonna tell us invalid one-time pass. Well, that sucks. So let's go back to the beginning because we need to find a way to bypass this one-time pass. And it's actually pretty simple. So we're gonna keep forwarding until we get back to registration. We're gonna go ahead and fill in all that information again, not that it matters too much. And then we're gonna click forward, forward, forward until we get to that same one-time pass. Let's go ahead and enter that one-time pass back in. Click submit, forward, and then you'll see the one-time pass here. Now, all you have to do to bypass this is simply remove the one-time pass variable entirely and then forward that through. And then that tricks the server into thinking that you successfully got into the website because there's no more one-time pass to check. So what's there to stop you from getting in? And then you can see your flag here. If we continue forwarding, you'll see that actually show up in the web page here. And our flag ends up being hashtag one-time pass bypass success. So we'll copy that and go back to our Pico CTF challenge here, paste it in and submit. All right, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.